hey everyone welcome back to another wig install video today this is the look that we are going for with a unit that comes super ready to be installed if you're interested in seeing how i got this look from start to finish definitely continue watching the wig we'll be using in today's video comes from wigfever.com here is how my order came packaged and all of the loads of goodies that came along with it now the actual unit that I ordered is a 26 inch body wave closure wig. The lace is HD and it already comes pre-plugged and the lace comes pre-cut. So here's what I'm showing you guys how like the hairline just looks so good straight out the package and that lace just looks so good and it's like ready to be worn. Of course, I am a creature of habit, so I will be bleaching the knots, but I wanted to give you guys another shot at the hairline. The inside of the cap does not come with wig combs, but it comes with an adjustable elastic band, and it is actually made on a mesh dome cap, which I really like because it's more of a comfortable wear with these type of caps, and the wig itself is super full from root to the ends. I did go in and flexi rod the hair using half inch flexi rods just so that I could have a tight curly pattern as with body wave hair I do like to wear it either curled or straightened and just so that I could have more of a loose wavy pattern I decided to use smaller flexi rods on this hair compared to a larger one inch size flexi rod so here I am just putting on the wig and I will not use any adhesive or any gel spray or anything of that sort to install this wig you guys see that the lace is already looking good on the skin however because it's not actually glued down or sprayed down there will be a cast that shows up on my skin being that lace is a fabric no matter how thin it is it is going to be apparent however it is up to us <laughs> wig wearers to make it as as unnoticeable as possible because you want it to give skin like you want it to give scalp and all of that like the main reason for why I like to wear wigs is because it is a easy and simple protective style for me having my natural hair braided underneath the wig just allows it to grow of course you want to do your due diligence and oil your scalp make sure you're doing all that you can possibly do as far as you know maintaining your natural hair underneath these wigs okay it's like girl don't don't treat your wigs better than you treat your natural hair. Like, that's that's a no-no. Um, but yeah, here we are. After 500 flexi rods, <laughs> we finally got them all out. And here I am just using my wand curler to get rid of any lumps and bumps that's at the top of the unit. Just so that the hair just kind of flows a lot better and there's like no line of demarcation. I pulled apart some of the curls just to give more volume to the look. Now again, although the lace is HD, it was showing up and it was kind of like being apparent on camera. So I did try to go in with some powder makeup just so that it's not as noticeable. But yeah, this is the overall result of the style, I'll have the link to this wig down below in the description along with any available coupon codes if you're interested. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.